Welcome back to International Dyno Authority. Today, we bring you this 2010 Chevrolet Camaro with the LS3 engine under the hood. 6.2 liters of fury. Let's go through from start to finish and show you each one of the steps. Let's get started. Okay, as is standard procedure here at International Dyno Authority, we always run a few baselines ahead of time. Does a couple of things. It lets a customer know where their car is, where the performance is when it comes in, and also it gives Wally a lot of data. So as he's running those baselines, he's pulling data. Something kind of interesting popped up as he was running the data. The fuel being commanded by the computer is showing at 11.3 and 11.6 way too much fuel for a naturally aspirated car. So Wally's gonna work his way through and give this car a proper fuel curve. Let's go over the numbers. So the first pass, it made 328 horsepower, 327 foot-pounds. So it was very square, very lazy, very slow to kind of make its way through the pass. We gave it every opportunity. We even ran it through a couple more times and then we opened the hood. It has a cold air intake on it, but it's sealed by the hood. So we wanted to make sure we're not getting too much hot air going into the engine. In this case, it might've been one of those times where the fact that it has a cold air and it's been changed and a couple of other things have gone, it's commanding too much fuel. So we'll have to wait and see where it goes from here. But our best pass was 337 um, horsepower, 330 foot-pounds of torque, and I'll show you that now. So here we are with 333 foot-pounds of torque, 337 horsepower. Now, what should this car make? From the factory, they're rated at 427, sorry, 426 horsepower at the crank. But at the wheels, we should see roughly a 15% drop on this model. It's kind of what we've come used to seeing on this model. So we'll work our way through the tune now. Wally's gonna get the fueling correct, then he'll work on making sure that the cam timing, the ignition timing, and everything else is in order. The mass airflow sensor is working the way it's supposed to and get the tune spot on. So now we're gonna work our way through to the next step. When our customer arrived today, he asked for one thing. He said, can you get me more low end grunt? I said, well, Wally's going to do his standard tuning. He's going to get everything correct. That's going to result in more low end grunt. Give us a chance. Let's walk through this and see how we do. 
right now we are making more low end grunt than he was making. So more torque than he was making peak torque when he came in. If we look here, we're starting off somewhere in the, uh, if we go line for line, we're starting off somewhere just over 280 foot pounds. And the way it works now, we are just over 370 foot pounds right off the hop. Right where you give it the gas, he's getting a lot more torque. The overall horsepower numbers also came up. He was making 337 and we gave him every chance. We gave this car, we opened the hood, we tried to get as much cool air so that the baseline was as good as it could be when it came in, was making 337. It's now making 400 plus horsepower. We ran it over and over again just to make sure it was very consistent. 399, 396, 404. This is now an extremely fast sporty car. <laughs>